Hello there and welcome back to my channel. My name is Michelle Ferre and I am a fourth grade teacher in Maryland. Today I am going to be sharing with you my current classroom favorites. I started this series almost a year ago and I've quickly realized that it's not necessarily just my classroom favorites but also my Amazon favorites because all of these items have been purchased from Amazon. As always, the link for every item will be down in the description box if you are interested in purchasing them and I'm gonna jump right into it. My first current classroom favorite is a pretty basic teacher supply item, but I will go into detail as to why they are my favorite and they are dry erase markers. Listen, I am a little bit of a dry erase marker snob, okay? I have been an expo girl my entire life. I refuse to buy any other brand because they're never as good, they don't last as long, and it's just not worth it until I found these on Amazon. So the brand of these is called Artelius. I could be totally butchering that. I bought these on a whim. I figured I would give them a try. I didn't necessarily have high expectations based on previous disappointments but I will say these markers exceeded my expectations and now I plan to only use these markers instead of Expo. First of all, let's talk about price. These markers came in a 40 pack and that included black markers and color. I don't remember exactly what the breakdown was, but you can check out the link for yourself. And I purchased them for $16.99. I know the prices on Amazon change all the time, but still, that is way cheaper than Expo markers. Because of that, I was expecting them to either run out of ink really quickly or not be as bright, and I will say that I was completely wrong. These markers show up just as bright as Expo markers, and they last extremely long. The reason I ended up buying these instead of Expo markers is because I prefer writing with a bullet tip. So a bullet tip just means that it has kind of this rounded tip instead of a chisel tip. Expo does make both, but I feel like it's way easier to find chisel tip than it is the bullet tip, especially in bulk packs. So when I saw that Artelius, Artili, I don't know how it's pronounced, when I saw that they had a 40 pack for $16.99 of all bullet tip markers, I had to try it. These have been my favorite. I've been using a black one on my front board. I write my objectives every single day for about the past month and the marker still looks brand new. My next current favorite are a set of white circle labels. The reason I love these labels is because you can actually use them to create your own stickers and better yet, you can put your Bitmoji on them. Now, I have been a huge Avery brand supporter for a long time. These are off brand and I love them just as much. There are 64 labels on a page and they came with, I don't even know how many pages, but I know that it's over 3,000 total labels. I personally paid, how much did I pay? I think it was about $12. I don't remember exactly, but I think it was about $12. That is a steal. You are able to download the Avery template and still use it with the off-brand labels. I don't remember the exact template number, but I will put it down in the description box. Once you open up the template on your computer, you just pop in your Bitmoji, print them out, and you have created your own personalized Bitmoji stickers. I personally love using these with my students. I think it makes it just a little bit more personalized, a little bit more fun and I feel like it costs about the same as regular stickers. It does take a little bit more work because I have to put my Bitmoji on it and print, but once I make the one template, I'm able to reuse it time and time again and just go onto my computer and quickly reprint it so it doesn't take a lot of time. I spend like an hour at the beginning of the school year and I print out all of my stickers for the entire year and I'm good to go. My next classroom favorite is a very typical teacher supply item and those those are scissors, but these are not your normal scissors. These are scissors 2.0 or something that tells you that they're better. <laughs> the reason these scissors are so awesome is because they are they are spring loaded. That means as you are cutting, instead of using your hand to open them up, they automatically open every time you close them. So these are great if you're doing a ton of cutting or you're cutting something thick like lamination where normal scissors would really hurt your hand from opening and closing. These open and close on their own and they're phenomenal. 
I did pay about $20, and that's a lot for a pair of scissors. However, I would say that the bones and the muscles in my hand are well worth the $20 to buy these pair of scissors. They also have a nifty little closer, so when you store them, you don't have to worry about cutting anything or yourself, because I would totally do that. My next classroom favorite is another teacher classic, and that is a stapler. But again, this is not an ordinary stapler. This is a new and improved stapler. Just like the pair of scissors, it is spring-loaded, which means you don't have to put as much effort into stapling. And I know that sounds pathetic, like, oh my goodness, she can't even use a stapler. I can, but one thing I have noticed this year with teaching writing is I staple papers all the time. I staple their organizer to their draft, and then I staple their draft to their final copy, and then I staple on a rubric, and I feel like all I do is staple. And let me just say, this makes it so much easier. When you push down just a little bit, it will actually finish out the staple for you, so you don't have to use as much effort. It's a little bit weird to like load the staples in, and every time I go to change it, I can't remember how it is. There you go. Okay, so you just pull the bottom, this key slides out, you load the staples in, it uses regular staples. This is the bottom stitch brand yes and I'm sure there's other brands but this is the one that I got I've had no problems with it I love it highly recommend five out of five my next item you're gonna laugh at me but hear me out is actually a clear badge holder now I've had a clear badge holder for years like since I started teaching but this is an even better badge holder the one that I had was a pocket which was all fun and games until my badge and any cards that I had in there would get disgusting because dirt would get in there and it was just it was not pleasant so I knew there had to be a better solution I went on to Amazon and found that they actually make clear badge holders that zip well it's not a zip it's like a little thing that you close whatever it has a closure so that it does not get as gross and disgusting my life has changed I know it's super simple but I'm gonna give you a little tip a rooney a tip I need to stop doing that <laughs> I actually have more than one of these on my like badge holder my lanyard I have one that has my badge my swipe key and then I've got hair in my mouth and then it also has a card that tells me different book levels for different grades and it's just convenient to have but I have a second one on my lanyard that has a copy of my student rosters and my dismissal list I will say the font is super tiny it's kind of hard to read but in emergency situations it's super convenient to have it right there on my lanyard I don't have to go searching for it I used to try to tuck them into my one single pouch but it got too crowded I could never find what I needed so I decided just to have multiple badge pocket pouch things I don't know what the official name of these is and that way I could flip through the different ones and easily see the different cards that I had available now, in terms of printing out like a roster or a dismissal list or whatever it is, I make these on Google Slides and I format the slide to be an eight and a half by 11. And when I print them, I actually print nine pages per sheet that shrinks them down. I laminate it, I pop it into the little badge holder and then I'm good to go. My next item is a new discovery and it's one of those things that I don't know how I lived without for such a long time. And that is a magnetic paper pocket. So the entire the entire back of this is magnetic so it all fits onto your board. You don't have to worry about it tearing away or slipping or falling down. It holds tight to the board and then you have this pocket where you can put papers for your students to grab. The reason I really like these is because now with teaching guided reading and having reading rotations and all that, I feel like my students are getting up to get papers at different times instead of passing it all out at once. I can put this up on the board, put the paper in there, and that way when my students are ready, they can easily go over and grab it. Now these do come in a six pack, which is great because it makes it easy to differentiate. They are all the same color, but they have this strip here where you could actually write the name of your your group or the color of your group or however you organize it and that way students can actually go and find the paper that they specifically need. You can also use these if you have centers you can line them all up on your board label the center stick the papers in there and you are good to go. Once again five out of five recommend. I probably should have showed this one after the dry erase markers because they kind of go together but my next item is a dry erase cleaner. This is the Amazon Basics brand which so far I've had really good luck with. Again 
I have always been a loyal Expo user, but I decided to risk it for the biscuit, try the Amazon Basics brand, and I love it. This is a spray that you would use if your board has like smears and smudges and you just need to give it a good cleaning. You spray the board, you wipe it off, and it's good to go. What I really like about this is it doesn't have a super strong like cleaner scent. Maybe it's because I don't use a lot of it at a time. I'm sure if you just drenched your board that it would smell pretty bad, but the little bit that I have used it, I have not noticed a bad smell. I feel like it works just as well as the Expo spray that I used to always buy, but it's a lot cheaper. My next item needs a little bit of explaining, so I'm gonna show it to you and then explain what it is, why I have it. This is called a Bissell Sweep Up. Can you see it? This is a sweeper type thing. Um, here's the backstory, okay? I have always, I don't, I'm gonna put this down. I have always had a broom in my classroom. I think it's really important for my students to take responsibility if they drop something on the floor, if they track in dirt from the playground, or they drop pencil shavings. I want them to take responsibility responsibility and clean it up rather than leaving it for the custodian. So I've always had a broom, which is great for tile floors, but I do have several carpets in my room and a broom does not work very well on a carpet. So I thought about getting like a vacuum for my room, but that just seemed ludicrous. So instead I thought there has to be something that will work on both tile and carpet and I found it okay it's this thing right here now it's a little bit dirty right now because I literally grabbed this from my classroom this afternoon and it gets used on a daily basis but don't judge me okay it has these rollers underneath and whether you roll it on tile or on carpet it helps to pick up any little flecks of dust or things objects that are on the floor and then you're able to empty it you just lift these up and empty it into the trash can I love it because it's quiet unlike a vacuum my students Students can easily grab it, clean up their mess, and put it back. In fact, I've even had other teachers send students to come get it from me. It was about $25, in my opinion, fully worth the price to be able to clean up those messes. Plus, my carpets do not get cleaned very often, so I love to be able to use this so they don't get so disgusting. Just a heads up, my last two items are technically not school supplies, but I am lumping them in with my classroom favorites because I wear them in my classroom. So first we have a sweater. Now my old classroom, I'm sure a lot of you remember, was super hot all the time. Even in the middle of winter, I would wear short sleeves and I would go outside for dismissal and people would look at me like I was crazy, but in fact, I was just sweating because my room was like 100 degrees. However, my new classroom is almost the opposite. Most of the time it's comfortable, but as it's starting to get chilly, I have noticed my room can get awfully cold, especially in the morning before the heat has kicked on. So I wanted some type of sweater that I could leave in my classroom, have it on the back of my chair, so anytime I needed it, it was there instead of constantly lugging it back and forth between school and home, and this was my solution. I went onto Amazon and I wanted a sweater that was gonna be nice and warm, but at the same time still looked like, eh, kind of stylish. This was the best I could find. I don't know if stylish is the right word, but I think it looks cute. I mean, it's just a basic gray sweater. It has these like, you know, little buttony things on them. But what I really like is it actually has a zipper. So if need be, I can just zip it up. I don't have to button anything. It's super fuzzy on the inside and it's just, oh, I put it on, I feel like I'm in a cloud and that's what I need in my classroom. I love that I can take this out to recess. I can wear it in my room. A lot of times I stay late after school and our heat does cut off at like 4 p.m. So by the time 7 p.m. rolls around, it's pretty frigid in my room. So I can just put this on, be nice and cozy. Money well spent. It was a little bit pricey, but it's held up really well. I think it was worth it. And my final item is on my body. <laughs> How convenient is that? So this is a sweater that I purchased on Amazon on a whim. I think I saw an advertisement on Facebook and it just, it spoke to me. First of all, the sleeves are black and white striped, which you all know is just my favorite. And the main part of it, I'm going to stand up. Okay. If you all can see my sweatpants, I apologize. This is just what I film in, but it has like these different pink and rust kind of colors. And I do not wear a lot of pink. In fact, pink is like my least favorite color, but I do want to try to work in more color to my wardrobe because it's mostly all black and white and I figured this was a good start. I like this sweater because it's not itchy and I absolutely cannot stand itchy sweaters. I am very particular when it comes to textures. This one is not itchy. It's not too hot. 
I will say it doesn't keep you super warm. I wore this out to recess one day and it was like 40 degrees and I was freezing because the air went right through it. But if you're looking for kind of more of a lightweight sweater, this would be perfect. It's nice and loose and baggy, which I also like because it's comfortable to wear and it costs like $20, $25 and I was okay with that. As promised, those are all of my current classroom favorites. The links are in the description box and they are affiliate links, which means I earn a small commission for sharing the link out with you at no extra cost to you. So if you enjoyed any of these items and wanna order them for yourself, I would really appreciate it if you ordered through my link as a way to support me and my time that I take to make these videos. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you do not miss any future videos. As always, thank you for watching. I love you all so much. Don't forget to put your positive pants on and I will catch you in the next one. Thank you so much for watching all the way to the end of this video and for supporting my YouTube channel. If you wanna check out any of my older videos, you can use the two links right down here. If you wanna to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any future videos, you can use the link right up here. The links to all of my social media sites, my Teachers Pay Teacher store, my merchandise store, and my Amazon store are in the description box and I'll catch you guys in the next one.